Okay. So we are now going to talk about Google Sheets. And here is our tutorial card that shows us kind of some of the things that we'll learn, like what are cells? How do you use in-cell calculations? What makes a spreadsheet have different cells work together? How do you merge them? How do you add borders? And how to make a lot of text fit into cells? So those are the things that we'll be looking at. Now, the first thing that you'll want to do is know how to open up a Google Sheet. So from your Google account, you can click on new in the upper left-hand corner. I don't know if you can see my purple cursor here. We will click on new. And then we're gonna click on Google Sheets. And this opens up a new document for us. At the top, you see it says it is an untitled spreadsheet. Once it finishes loading, whenever I hover over that, let's see, it should let us rename the sheet. And so we're just gonna rename that my spreadsheet. There you go, very simple. Okay, we're gonna close this out because we're not going to be working from this page. Instead, we're going to go back to our uh, original document and on your tutorial card, you will see this link. When you get your resources, you will want to click on that link and that will take you to our lesson. When you click on make a copy here, that creates a unique document for you that you can make changes to and no one else will be able to see those. That is strictly your document. Okay, again, whenever we come back up to the top of the page in the upper left hand corner, if you can see my cursor in purple, we have opportunity to rename. I'm just going to take off the copy of. So I click there, I click in front of getting and just hit backspace. And there you go. All right, so let's get into sheets. One of the things I want you to notice here in the center of the page, it tells you the original document from Alice Keeler can be found here. When you hold your mouse over here, there you see the link. And it's the same as what you're seeing here, but um, this is just another way to get this same document. Now we follow the red arrow down to the bottom of the page. And I'm going to have to move our people out of the way because I've got it in the wrong spot. Okay, <laughs> now I can see the bottom of my page. Um, you will see there are several tabs here. The first one is welcome. Notice that's green, whereas the others are gray. The one that is green is the tab that's open. Each tab is a unique sheet that has its own information. So um, whenever you click on a tab, then you'll be able to see the information for that particular sheet. You'll notice that there's an arrows on the right hand side and you can see my purple um, cursor here. Click on that arrow and that will scroll and let you see the rest of the items on the tabs there. When you come over to the left of the screen, you'll see the pancake. It says all sheets, we click on that. This is another way that we can navigate through the sheets. Just select the sheet that you want to go to and it will take you right to it. So now we're going to move on to step one. Now in this spreadsheet, our instructions tell you, a spreadsheet can organize data. Try typing things into the cells. Also try making the column widths wider and the row heights taller. So it's telling us to do something with cells. So the definition of a cell is basically any single square that you see on the page, that is a cell, okay? So we are, at, and then you have your columns from the top and your rows from the side. So try making the column widths wider and the row heights taller. To do this, hover the mouse between the letters on the tops of the columns. So here is where they're talking about. And, um, or in between the numbers to the left of the rows. And this is the numbers that they're talking about. When the arrow changes, you can hold down the mouse to increase the row height and the column width. When you are done typing in at least five cells and have changed a column and row width, go on to, next, to the next tab. Okay, we're only going to type in one, one cell. 
So let's see, we'll do some mother goose here. Hickory, dickory, dock. We'll spell dickory weird today. The mouse, the cows, how about that? <laughs> Ran up the clog. All right, now you see that exceeds the width of the cell. We want to make it fit. So we are going to come up um, to C, and now I have my arrows. When I click and hold my mouse, it put the line all the way down to the bottom and that lets me move the mouse or, or that width of that cell to be as wide as I want it to be. And you can see now the cell is much wider. We can do the same thing with the row. Click and hold the, hold the mouse and just drag. And that will increase the height of the row. Okay, very simple. That's the end of step one. Let's move on to step two. Okay, now we began step one with the definition of the cell as being a single rectangle you see outlined on the page. Now, every cell in the sheet has a unique name, and this is very important to the function of the spreadsheet. So that's what this lesson will teach us about. So you name each cell by first listing the column, the cell, the, the huh, can't read today. Okay. The letter of the column the cell is in, followed by the number of the row. Practice naming each of the yellow cells by typing the cell address into the yellow cells. When you are done, go to the next tab. So you'll see here, this very first cell, they put a number in for us, C6. When you look at the row on top, you can see that C is darker than all of the rest. That lets us know that that is row C. When you look at the numbers down the side, you will see that six is darker than all the rest. That lets us know that that is row six. Another way that we can find the name of the cell is to go to the left-hand corner, right underneath the toolbar, and you will see the number C6. That gives us the name of this cell. So we're gonna click on another yellow cell, and I see that my E is darker, so I'm gonna put in E. And I see that my 13 is darker, so I will also put in 13. Well, I will really put in 13. Okay, when we hit enter, it tells us we did excellent. Okay, so when you get this at your resources, you can practice this some on your own. Let's go on to step three. Okay, in step three, they tell us you're doing great. Now here's something about spreadsheets that is really cool. Did you know each cell is a mini calculator? That is right. The trick to using the spreadsheet as a calculator is to start your math expression with an equal sign. So keep in mind, they say start with the equal sign. So for each math expression below, double click in the cell and type an equal sign in the front of the math expression. Okay, so when we double click, that allows us to, that brings the cursor into the cell so that we can type inside the cell. Um, you see my cursor flashing here in this three plus four plus five. And I'm going to use my arrow key to take it all the way to the beginning of the cell and then put in my equal sign. When I hit enter, that calculates for us. So now we have an, an amount. Now, if you don't want to have to double click, you can click on the cell just one time or hit enter uh, to, until you get to that cell. And you will see Again, underneath the toolbar, just to the right of the name of the cell are the contents of the cell. So I will put my equal sign now in front of the equation and hit enter. And now we have a result. But we shall move on. I wish I would have known this, Jane, when they were, um, when I was learning Excel, because I kept putting at the end. It took me a long time to figure that out. So. Yes. <laughs> it's. It's so funny, Excel, or um, in this case, Sheets, I learned Excel first, and so I kind of go to that one, and they're slightly different, mm -hmm. but um, they are not user-friendly. This is not easy because it's not um, intuitive, but um, once you get used to using it, it's not that bad. All right, in step four, it tells us, you are now ready to write your own formula. 
In the yellow cells below, start with an equal sign and write your own math problem. So again, remember, as Stephanie pointed out, we have to start with our equal sign if we want it to create an equation. And now we're gonna put in three plus seven, oh, you gotta hit plus, not equals. Forgot to hit that shift key. Okay, plus seven plus five. Now I picked something that was really easy to figure out. That's 15 and then we hit enter and that gives us our result. So now the next instructions below tell us, look at the cells above the menu option view, choose all formulas to show the formula you wrote instead of the results. And then don't forget to go back to the view menu and turning the all formulas option off. So just above your toolbar, there are tabs that you can choose from. We are going to select view. And it doesn't, it doesn't really say all formulas, it says show formulas. So we're gonna click on show formulas. And now you see my equation is back in the box. I want it to show the answer instead. So I'm going to go back to view. And again, take the, the check mark off of all formulas by clicking on it. And now again, it shows my result. Let's move on to step five. Okay, in step five, it tells us that um, we are going to try cell referencing. This means that you refer to a cell instead of typing in a number. So earlier we named our cells. The cell names are very important in Excel, very important. They make working with um, Excel, that's what makes it wonderful. And I've got to remember we are talking about sheets, but again, Excel and sheets are very, very similar. If you learn one, you can do the other. Okay, so our instructions tell us in the yellow cells below, notice the formula is referencing the values in cells B4, C4, and D4. Double click on the yellow cell and place an equal sign in front of the formula. So before we do that, I want to make this very easy for you to see. So I'm going to select these uh, D, C, and B, four, and we're gonna change the color so that they stand out and be a little bit different for us here. Okay, so B4 is our six value. Whenever I click on this, you see B4 in the corner, that is the name of that box. C4 has a value of two, you see here, the C4 is the name again of this cell. And then the last one, D4 has a value of nine. You'll see D4 in the column. That is the name of that cell. So instead of putting numbers in, we put in the name of the cell that holds the value we want to use. So we're gonna put an equal sign. I double clicked. I'm going to back arrow so I can put an equal sign in front of that and hit enter. And we have a value, which I think that is so cool. I, I love Excel. <laughs> I love spreadsheets. I love sheets. <laughs> okay, so there's another way that we can do that. Anytime you put an equal sign at the beginning, it lets you know, or it lets Excel, sheet, spreadsheets, it lets the spreadsheets know that you're going to enter an equation or some kind of formula. Instead of typing in B4, C4, and D4. I've got my equal sign here. My cell is selected. You see it's outlined in blue. Now I'm going to go up and click on B4 and you will see it inserted it for me. And then I shall hit plus, click on the next cell C4 and then I will hit plus again and hit D4. And I'll hit enter and you see we have the same value. That is one of the things I absolutely love. It really comes in handy whenever you're working with data. Okay, step six. Hey Jane, so I just did a time check. I think we're kind of in a bit of a time crunch because we've got about three minutes left. So do you wanna go through these quickly or do we want, since this these are all available to everybody who's watching, do we just wanna provide it after the, the webinar is over? Um, the, the last two are really quick. Okay, perfect. So, yeah. Okay, thank you, Danny. Sure. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, our instructions tell us to merge cells together, highlight multiple cells, then um, click on the merge cells icon on the toolbar and the highlight, highlight the cells below and then click the tool, Ooh, really? Click on the merge cells icon and type in your name in the merged box. Okay, so here is a picture of the merge cells icon. And I always have trouble finding this one that's up there. Okay, so we're first going to select our box and I want to make it easy for you to see. So we'll select outline and I wanna outline all the boxes with borders. And then we will click on our merge cells button. It always moves on me, I don't know why. And it doesn't really, it's just me. It's right there. Oh, I haven't selected it, that's why. Got to see. Now I'm in a hurry. <laughs> okay. Sorry, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <laughs> okay, so we have we have merged our cells. So we'll let you see that one more time. We'll hit undo. I want that to go away. So I've outlined all of the boxes. I have selected the section that I want to merge. We'll come up to the merge cells icon that matches the picture here. Click that and there you see now all of our cells are one box. Let's move on to step seven. Okay, in step seven, it tells you that we want to create borders on the T-chart and create a single line under the height and width and create a single line between the height and width values. So this is very, in fact, it's exactly what I just did on the last slide, but I didn't instruct you on. So here is our example, if you can see my mouse moving, and we want to put an underline beneath height and width. So we'll come back up to the boxes as they pictured here. And I want this to be an underline. So I find the picture that shows the underline and we click there and you can see it has underlined it. Now I'm gonna select the height row. You could select either row. You just wanna make sure that you select the correct border that goes with it. So height, I want to uh, add a line to the right. There is our right border. And we have completed this task. Now let's move on to step eight. So on step eight, we're going to do text wrapping. So you will see the wrap icon here, and um, here it is on our toolbar. So we're gonna click on this cell and then we're going to tell it to wrap. So we're clicking. You see that now it's highlighted in blue. I'm going to come up to the wrap button that I just showed to you. Merge, where did it go? How, how does this happen to me? <laughs> okay, there we go. Nope, that's vertical align. There, now, the, the symbol you will see matches the very first one in the line. Now we will tell it to wrap by selecting the circular arrow there, and it, it has wrapped the text. Now we're going to unwrap this box. We want it to go out into a single line, so we've selected in blue. We come back to our text wrapping symbol, and now we're going to tell it to go out into a straight line, and there you go. So you have now completed the lesson of the basic steps of working with sheets. And um, again, I want you to notice at the bottom of the page, there are some additional practice tabs. So when you get to your resources, you will be able to review the steps one through eight that we just went through and then move on to the practice sheets on your own.